Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to teach you how to set up a game of Gizmos. Gizmos is kind of Splendor, I would say meets Potion Explosion, but that's not really true. It's kind of just Splendor 2.0 maybe, we could call it that. So we're going to go ahead and open that up. You know, we've got a couple different uh, rule books here. First of all, we have a guide on how to build the... Uh, marble depositing mechanism and then we've got a uh, kind of an icon guide and then your basic rule book so this game is super simple so the rule book is way short i mean we have components listed here and then we have the rules and then uh back here also a couple more rules so pretty nice pretty easy to understand and follow okay so to set up the game we got to first build our little mechanism doodad and uh, this game comes with an insert. I wish, I wish they had raised this a little bit. Like this like holds the cards, but not totally. And not really a place for these rings, but enough about that. Okay, so we're gonna take out this thing here and we need to put the walls in it. Oops, I just bumped out that stopper. And so we're just gonna go ahead and open this thing up and it, folds into this shape here and you just go ahead and plop it in. So I really do like that this is super easy to uh, put together and take apart like that. Okay, so go ahead and do that. And then you're gonna take your bag of marbles here. Now these aren't like official marbles, I'll just say. Uh, component wise, I'm slightly disappointed in the quality of these marbles. These are kind of just like, they're almost like plastic balls more than they are like marbles. They're really light. And there weren't as many as I was expecting in this bag, but that's okay. Uh, it's still a very fun game. Don't let my complaining uh, get to you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and dump these in here. And if you need to, you gotta kind of stir it a little bit until you get, uh, the marbles coming out. There we go. Something like that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this up here. There's a bunch of victory point uh, tokens that I meant to put in a bag and I just haven't yet. So we're just going to go ahead and put these up here. And then we're going to need the cards. So I think what we're going to do is let's slide this stuff over like that. And I'm gonna move my body to this side, which is more complicated when you're hooked up to a microphone. Okay, so these decks of cards, uh, there's different kinds. There are these zero cards. These are cards that everybody starts with, so I'm just gonna hand one to each player, then take out the others. Then there's level one, two, and three cards. So for each level of cards, you're just gonna to wanna to take them, shuffle them up, and we're gonna build a display of cards that are acquirable. Oh, some of those are turning, makes me sad. Okay, so here's our level one cards. Level one, you're gonna take them, shuffle them, and flip four face up like that. I'm not used to standing on the right-hand side. It's making me very self-conscious, but yeah, we are still fitting. Okay, then level two cards, same thing. Let's give those a good shuffle. And of course, I usually shuffle before I put away. There we go, something like that. Okay, so we've shuffled them, and we're gonna put them up here and draw three. And then finally, there are some level three cards, and we need to shuffle those and count 20 cards and remove them from the game. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Those come out of the game. So let's just shuffle these remaining ones. And they're gonna go right here, and we need two of those. Finally, I'm coming back over here. Uh, we are going to set up our play areas. So each person is gonna need one of these rings. The other rings are gonna go out of the game. Each person's gonna need like a tableau starter. The rest go out of the game. And these just open up, they're folded in half. And as per usual, I'm gonna go ahead and use some colored paper so that you, the viewer, can distinguish which player is which. 
And so I'm just gonna, how do I wanna do that? Sure, something like this. Okay, why not? I don't know. I'll adjust. And then they're gonna take your starting card and all the starting cards are the same. They have this little file icon right here. And so it needs to go under the file icon on your board. Now, I'll talk more about this in the gameplay video, but I'm gonna go ahead and use a cube to help me while I'm recording track the action that I'm taking. Now let me venture back over to the other side, swap this battery pack, there we go. And same thing, red player, red cube, open this up, we've got our holder here, our file card, and that's it. We are now ready to play Gizmos. So if you'd like to see how this game was played, go ahead and click on the video, What? click on the link in the description of this video, and we will go ahead and see you there. I don't like being on this side, hold on, I'm going to sign off from the other side. Okay, yeah, if you want to see this game played, click on the link, yada yada, see you later, bye.